But don't be surprised if Courtney Brown plays a little bit of a false nine up there in her first career NWSL start. 4-2-3-1. Talia Ferry centrally to find Setnor and then Monaghan and Ben. So we are set. Gold tops belonging to the Utah Royals in black. Washington Spirit underway from Audi Field. Long ball initially is denied. Losing their first game against Chicago, but there were moments in that where you could truly see what they have built and how they want to progress through the lines. But to get that, that first win in their second game at home. Rodman again with the reception. Defended by Real. Plays in. Sar, but the save by Hawk. Bethune, nice touch. Rodman on the break. Rodman in, cutting it. Bethune. Oh, she went down. That's a penalty. A lot of credit here, but how about Hal Hirschfeld? She wins the ball yet again in the midfield. It's one pass to Bethune. She finds her easy outlet, which is Trinity Rodman. And then look at this no-look pass. Bethune sees the pressure coming. On the whistle, it's Sullivan. And it's one nothing Spirit. Get out by, not, by Griffiths there. And here is Andy Sullivan stepping up. And she goes with power. The placement is perfect as well. Side netting, not much that Hot, hot can do there. Andy Sullivan. Yeah, absolutely, because you know where the players are going to be to your right and left. You have an outlet. You have support defensively. Sometimes three players going for the same yeah. ball. <laughs> yeah. My opinion. Yes. He oh, should look. absolutely. He should look. It should not be and, called and, without and, looking. And he should look quicker than this. Now he's going to look. See that? It's a yellow card. Wow. Uh, I think Fodor is very lucky. I thought it was going to be red or nothing. I didn't think yellow would be an option there on that review. Swept away by Real, but given right back to Rodman. In bizarre to nothing, Washington. Setnor, terrific goal last week. It was a game winner, actually, for the Royals. Out of UNC, Setnor, she can shoot from there and does. Has the confidence to try it. Let's see. Washington Spirit in those darker uniforms. They have the ball. It's Sullivan. Very good first half. Rodman with an assist, a terrific one on the Sar goal. One of the best you'll see. Here she comes again. Robbins flying down the right side. Playing it in front. Save. That was hot. Sar could have had a second goal. What a dangerous combination. We talked about Rodman yeah. and Bethune. How about Rodman and Sar? Yeah, well, it was Rodman just like. The halfway line. Gathered in by Gabriel Carl. Sullivan. Hirschfeld. Tender for Bethune, knocked away, Saar recovers, dishes, Rodman, cutting, Rodman shot is blocked out for a corner. Sullivan out of Stanford University, that corner taken, Saar was held, appeals for a call there, not heard, Rodman, quickly. Left there, Kruger off the post. Rebound there, came out, and Sullivan had it blocked, but Kruger nearly made it 3 0 yeah. for Utah. She can't believe it. It's flipped away by Delfava, but Bethune and Rodman do a good job here of just a takeover. She leaves it, and then Delfava misses a second ball as it comes back across, and Casey Kruger can't believe that this doesn't go in. Sits up so nicely for her, but it gets touched there by Delfava. Actually, I think it was real. Royals are doing more defending than they really want to at this point. Chasing a game where they're down by two. EP on the takeover. Strong run. She's got that whole side waiting maybe for an overlap. It's Monahan who joins. 
Gotham's former Gotham player Monahan will play it across flicked wide. Well finally we got to see the run of Betford and what she can do. That was a sweet ball to Brown. Set some breaking in transition. Courtney Brown finds another rookie there. Bethune shooting it low. Two bounce to Hunt. Advantage was the ruling. Hogarsh. Fodor wanted Bedford. And that was Kingsbury calling off McKeown. And Fodor puts her hand up right away because it was just a little bit of a forced pass there. It for Utah, it was good movement off the ball, and I think that's wh where they're going to have to really grind here in these last 25 minutes. Ball was picked. The chance here. Saved by Kingsbury. Rebound block off Bedford. Sentner and the Royals nearly scored. Off one of the rare giveaways tonight from the Spirit. Here they come. Rodman leads it. Sar is there. Take it out on the tackle. Referee's looking right at it and just waved. Nope. They've done a good job of sometimes possessing to get forward, but really breaking in defensive, good defensive actions. Fodor, Sentner, rides off a challenge, a shot, the flex, Ellie Sentner. Her second goal. Not afraid to take on a chance and now. It's officially game on. Yeah, and Amy Rodriguez talked last week about how she saw a lot of character from her group defending late to keep a lead. Well, now they're chasing a game, and this is what you want. Setnor staying lively, and she takes on the first player. But she showed last week she can shoot with her left from distance, but she's just as good and effective on her right foot. She cuts inside. She knows exactly what she wants to do, finding that little seam bounces with a little bit of a deflection here. These teams will fight until the end, especially one like Utah based on humility and hard work. Yes. Mozingo, another strong Ooh. rookie, plays it in front, keep her out, photo her blocked again. Uh, you can understand why she's unhappy with herself on that. She was in Griffiths. Mazingo chipping it. Just over. Why not? Post headed away. Headed upfield. But oh. goes for it on a breakaway with Hot out. Hot does well no. there. And Utah what? lives on. <laughs> the expected eight. It'll go short to Bethune. Referees looked at the watch and said, that's it. Spirit win their second straight at home, but it wasn't. Easy, Jordan. No, it wasn't easy. 